Rock on people, this is another Fruity Loops thing. I'm going to start the app from scratch. Boom, there we go. Nothing's come up, there we go, it's booted up. Let's, um... Let's set the, uh... There we go, a bit bigger. Uh, this is a another Chromebook. It's an even lower spec Chromebook. Uh, it's an Acer something or other. Um, they don't make them anymore. I'll, I may put it in the comments of this video. I want to see. Um, I want to see what it's like on uh, an even lower spec Chromebook again I've got I've got a different wiring up thing everything's going into one um, USB-C port because there is only one USB-C port on this laptop and a USB 3 port that's got a Keith McMillan keyboard connected into so uh, the setup's a bit different on here uh, I've got a Volker drum connected into the mixer as well. If you can hear that. Let's crank it up a bit. Oop, that might be clipping, but whatever. Right, so, settings. Got multi-core processing enabled. The keyboard's connected. It's on standard, standard MIDI driver. There is a legacy MIDI driver, but that doesn't work with the keyboard apparently I've set my zoom settings up so I could actually see what's on the screen <laughs> anyway let's get rid of that uh, that's a bit low You can set the volume of the in and stuff on the individual channels on here, like I can also do it on the mixer, my Behringer mixer. Start the Vulcan drum sequence at a different BPM. waveguide resonator on that there's still audio traps in it figured out how you could change an instrument <laughs> other than by deleting the channel I'm gonna to have to sit down and read the Fruity Loops manual so I'm gonna add, add an instrument uh, bum, 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 bum. let's try orchestral let's see what we've got in here brass <laughs> Brassy. I 
think they could have improved this by because that would have you can't set a, oh, you can't set a volume on this they should have made this a volume slider uh, ah, cheap trumpet <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with cheap. Oh, what's cool? It's an R. You get R's and O's. Uh. Oh. Ooh, church organ. This is me. Uh. sure if my voice is recording on this microphone <laughs> which is a sure sm58 um, connected into the mix we'll see yeah. I like um, I like how you can um, adjust the zoom of the grid just by using the um, scroll wheel on a mouse. That sure um, it seems to stop there. It goes yeah. And again that brings out your um, volume. I wonder how you put a send effect. I wonder how you do send and return effects. Not figured that out yet. I know you have to, uh, you, you seem to have to have the track selected to play. Uh, that could do you a bit of reverb adding that. Bit, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to end this video now. It's um, I suppose I ought to stop that, you know. Yeah, you bring up a keyboard with that, and assuming if you, yeah, if you select the drums, it turns into a drum pad. Hmm. I wonder if I could do some audio capture. Oh, sorry, just bear with me a minute. I'm going to add another channel. Um, audio record. Okay. So we selected. We take all that back to. See, what, what do we get on here? Nothing. So I've only got one bar, one bar of music. So, um, I'm assuming it'll record what's coming in on this mic. Let's, um, let's see what happens. So, I'm, I've got the audio selected. I assume you press this to record. Hang on, let's go. Hang on, got the audio selected. Okay. 
I assume you have to press this down here. Ah, it's armed, but... Is it? What's going on? Okay, I assume you press... Oh, hang on, that's, that's got a little spot in it now. Let's press that. Okay, we'll stop that. Oh, it has recorded something, but it seems to be, um... Oh, crikey. <laughs> it has recorded something. Um, how do you normalise it? How do you normalise it? Volume? Volume's on max. Uh, right clicking does nothing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna solo this track. Let's see if it makes a noise. Barely, barely. Yeah, we'll stop that. <laughs> We're not getting an echo there. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's take the solo off. Knock the drums down a bit. Why isn't that looping there? Here, why isn't it looping on this bit? Why is it going all the way over here? Oh, hang on. Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to RTFM. <laughs> okay. Trim it. How do you get editing to look at that big, that's a big transient there? How do you edit the damn thing? Can't see any editing controls other than volume, pan, and pitch. Okay, when in doubt. Delete the channel. <laughs> anyway, oh, we can copy it. So, um, presumably, if I copy that and uh, paste, why didn't that snap? That gives me two bars. I'll be reading the manual in bed tonight on my um, tablet. <laughs> Such is life. Anyway, a bit of extra bonus footage of me messing about with Fruity Loops. Um, it seems okay. If I can get it running on this really piss poor Chromebook, it should run on anything. Okay, people, take care. Catch you in the next one. We better leave the software gracefully by pressing the quit button here. Okay.
See you in the next one, people.